So you reached out to me after seeing me in an interview on YouTube. What caused you to pull the trigger? How were you feeling at the time? So I re very vividly remember listening to the interview um, that you had, and I was intrigued. Um, and I, it was it was a while before I actually followed up mm -hmm. with you. Um, it was probably I would say almost a month, but there was just something that kept bringing that interview back into my my mind, and I just kept thinking gosh, maybe this is somebody that I could reach out to because I was, um, I was at a, I guess, strange point in, in my life and in my journey. And, um, again, just something kept bringing that interview to the forefront of my mind until finally I'm like, all right, I'm just, I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to do this. And so I reached out. I remember you using the words when you did reach out, like feeling a bit lost and lacking purpose. Can you speak mm -hmm. to that? my greatest joy in my life has been raising my kids and finding them, you know, moving on and doing what they're supposed to do and what I've raised them to do kind of left me feeling without purpose. Just when you kind of feel like you don't have a purpose, you're like, is this even the right thing? What am I doing? Where am I going? Why am I here? What am I here for? And so, and it, that's something that I had struggled with for a while. Do I even love my job? Do I do I love this house? Do I love all these things that, I, that I've created and, and built? It was just very unsettling. And mm -hmm. so I think the combination between that and then seeing the interview, I think that my, you know, something in my mind was like, no, this is where you need to go. This is what you need to do. So if you had to describe the journey we went on together, and this was about once a week for the next few months with three words, what would they be? Discovering, emotional, and enlightening. Awesome. Yeah, I remember when the emotions came up a little bit, but we realized together that you could feel them and you were still safe and okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that um, a lot of times, especially, you know, in the way that society expects us to be, I am really good at just tampering down those emotions and trying to not let them out, not show them, and just keep piling them on and storing them up. And uh, going through our sessions, I just, I feel like they bubbled out like, oh my gosh, I don't know why they're not stopping. Um, but they did, they bubbled out and that was okay. And I survived. And I have learned that it's okay to, if I'm sad or angry or just kind of in an emotional state that it's okay to sit with that, to feel that and then move on. Awesome. So did anything surprise you about coaching and how did it feel different than counseling? I absolutely loved it. Um, not that I haven't had, you know, I've had counseling before and it's been fine, but I never felt like there was any resolution. Um, there were times when, to be honest, I felt like they just want me to keep coming back in two weeks to try to get a grain of information so that I can keep writing a check. And um, I did not feel that way. I felt like it was perfectly paced. It wasn't lagging. Um, I'm a person who likes little tasks like, okay, so we talked about this over the next week. I'm really going to focus on sitting with my emotions or um, noticing how I feel in a certain space in my life. And it truly helped me reframe things to a point where now I'm like, okay, I, I feel like I, like I really got something and grew from our sessions. Yeah. So you might have just answered it, but how are you feeling now after having had coaching? Any positive changes? Definitely. I, um, I see myself in a different light. Um, I, oh gosh, I, I have, it's been really enlightening to look back at situations and that I thought were really directed at me, they weren't. Um, just really reframing some of my childhood, the things that made me who I am today, and just showing up in a, in a better way for the people that I love and care about. Amazing, very well said. So how would you encourage women who feel as if you did, you know, maybe a little lost, maybe losing some purpose? Would you recommend they reach out to me? Oh my gosh, 
don't hesitate. Don't wait a month. Don't, don't stew on it. Don't sit on it. Just do it. Because if I had to do it all over again, I, I would have sent that email <laughs> immediately do it in a heartbeat just because, you know, there are, there are still highs and lows in life and, and, you know, in every day. And, and now I don't sit there thinking, what is my purpose? Why am I here? I am confident for my, what my purpose is and, and why I'm here. And um, I feel more capable of writing those highs and lows every day. Thank you. Life is a journey. Thank you.